Hey guys, this is Pixel Dan coming to you from the 2015 San Diego Comic Con, and I'm here in the Hasbro booth with Jeff to talk Star Wars. Yes. yes. So first of all, how's the show going for you? It is going great. Yeah, it's big. Yes. Black Series big. So, so big. Yeah, you guys dropped a massive Black Series reveal. So let's go ahead and just start right there. This is the first order TIE fighter, correct? It is straight from uh, The Force Awakens, the, tar the, the TIE fighter that fits two figures, all new from the movie, all new designs coming out this fall on Force Friday. It's funny, people are coming up to us, the number one question is, hey Hasbro, you're not really making that, right? <laughs> That's just a model for the show. It's, like, it's no, just a display? These are factory produced toys, this wow. is the real deal. Wow, can you give me some of the dimensions on this thing? Like, how big is it? It's uh, 26 inches high. It's around 7 pounds, I think. So you get a nice workout, too. Oh, you wow, can pump yeah. some iron with this bad boy. And it comes with a figure? Yeah, it comes with the Elite Pilot with the unique Black Widow red striping. Because, of course, that figure's been in more training in the Imperial Navy. So, you know, he gets a special decoration. Very, very cool. It's getting exciting starting to see this Episode 7 stuff oh, finally coming out. Wait, you know, we were able to show the trooper a little while ago, the White Storm Trooper, and now to show exclusively at the show this new TIE fighter and the pilot. It's very exciting. But much more to come, September 4th, oh, Force man. Friday. Yeah, it's going to be a big day for all the Star Wars fans. Um, do you guys have a price point set for this one already? It's 169 for the vehicle and the figure. Oh, that's pretty good, too, considering the size and everything that you get with it. It's amazing. It also doubles as a coffee table. I was going to say, we all have to find somewhere to put this thing now, but I'm sure we'll figure it oh, out. Put a piece of Lucite on top. You've got a great <laughs> display piece. I like it. I'm that wasn't ask. the inspiration, but hey, if it works. I'm going to ask my wife if we can do that right away. Make this our new uh, dining room that's table. because right, how many people are saying, I don't have room for this. It's too big. Hasbro, <laughs> stop making such big, great toys. Yeah. And we'll say, no, it doubles as furniture. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, exactly. There you go. And now you've got in. <laughs> so what are some of the other cool things you got on uh, display for well, Black we Series here? to reveal some of the new 6-inch figures coming out in 2016. Luke Skywalker from F4. We haven't done them yet. Yeah. I mean, it's time to do them, Absolutely. right? So he's just great. Soft goods tunic. We also revealed Kanan from Rebels. And what's fascinating about these guys are we're doing realistic interpretations of the animated characters. So that's yeah. a lot of fun for a team to figure out with Lucasfilm what the characters look like in the real world. So we've got Kanan here, we've got Ahsoka, which we've revealed in the past, but now fully painted model. We love Ahsoka. And we also revealed that we're going to be doing Sabine Wren in six inches. Really? Yeah, oh. with two heads, swappable heads, one with the helmet and one with her hair. Because yeah. you can't mat her hair down. Oh, no she way. is her hair and her armor and her strength. So we want to do Sabine, too. That is awesome. Seeing Rebels get incorporated into the six-inch scale is something I personally am very excited for. How about uh, a little uh, Darth Revan, too? Oh, yeah? So the fans have spoken, and we're listening. So Darth Revan came in first. He's in the line. Oh, Sabine wow. came in second. She's in the line. But the rest of the picks were amazing. So I'd like to do them all. Yeah? Very, very exciting stuff. Well, I got to say that Kanan and Ahsoka both look amazing in this realistic style Thank that you, you guys did. Um, with Luke Skywalker, I wanted to ask, what was the deciding factor to go with the soft goods tunic on there? Well, it's Black Series, so we've got to do it right in Black Series. It basically, our team is made up of fans, passionate fans, and they do what they would want to buy. Mm -hmm. So that's how we ended up with this premium figure. Kind of, I guess uh, the articulation would function with the the flowing cloth robe or the tunic on there too. Right. I mean, tremendous articulation, very poseable. It's a terrific figure. Awesome. I think we got Django Fett on display over here yeah, too, right? Is that a new one? There, we've got Django. So he's coming out for the first time. But there's so many to do. The nice yeah. thing about starting up a new scale, a fresh scale, just a couple of years ago, is you can do figures like Luke. We haven't done them yet in the yeah. scale, yeah. and there's so many more. Like the fan poll, you know, pushed for us. I want to do Gamorrean Guard. He didn't do great in the poll. Oh, but, really? But I think he came in last. I mean, who doesn't like the Gamorrean Guard? Yeah. But we've got to do him. Oh, man, gotta you got go. to. He's going to be amazing in this I scale. I know. I know. So it's cool to see you guys incorporating Rebels and the original trilogy, and you're still putting prequels characters in the line. Yeah, we love and, it all. and I assume, you know, we're going to start seeing a lot more of the Force Awakens stuff as we get closer to that. But I can neither confirm nor deny <laughs> that, but that would make a lot of sense. But can you at least tell us that Black Series will continue to be a very wide variety of oh, characters yeah. from all across yeah, the franchise? Absolutely. We love all those children. Um, Fewer Clone Wars figures, okay. uh, at least for the next year or, or year and a half, but certainly a lot of Rebels, a lot of uh, classic, prequel, and then, of course, I'm sure, Episode 7. Awesome. Well, 6 inches is looking great, um, but what can you tell us about 
for fans of the four inch, the three and three quarter inch stuff. Is there anything new coming on that front? There is. I can't talk about it yet. We can't. We can only talk about what we're showing here. But we love all of our children, so uh, there'll be a great line in the fall. Good stuff coming. All right. Well, there you go, guys. There's a look at what Hasbro has on display for Star Wars here at San Diego Comic Con, and I think things are just going to keep getting more and more exciting the closer we get to the Force Awakens. Can't wait. Awesome. Well, thank you so much thank for taking you. the time. Thank you, fans. Always appreciate uh, getting a chance to talk to you about awesome. stuff. Thank you. Well, there you go, guys. From San Diego Comic-Con 2015, this is Pixel Dan reporting. Stay up to date with Pixel Dan at San Diego Comic-Con 2015. Follow at Pixel Dan on Twitter or forward slash Mandalorian30 on YouTube.com. Thanks for tuning in to your premier source for all things toys, Pixel Dan. See you again.